In today's video, I'm going to show you the best CF Express card that you can use for your camera, which also happens to be the cheapest. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is for anyone that's looking to purchase a new CF Express card. So recently I was on the market for a couple of cards to add to my Canon R5C. And so I was looking around at different websites um, to see if there were any promotions going on. Because if you're not familiar with CF Express, they're incredible cards. They're really, really good, but they're also incredibly expensive. And so um, I was looking around to, uh, to see what the best deals were. And I've got some prices here of what some of the manufacturers charge for their cards. So SanDisk... Uh, for a 512 gigabyte card, and these are all 512 by the way, um, so for a 512 gigabyte card for SanDisk, it's $329. Lexmark also make one, it is $529. And Sony make one as well, which is the most expensive one at $649. These are all 512 gigabytes. Uh, Angelbird also make one uh, for $391, so that's uh, so more on the, on the low end. Um, so as you can see, very, very expensive. And when you're looking to get a few of those, it can quickly add up. And so um, I, I, whilst I was doing all my research, I came across one particular card also made by Angelbird and it was only $129. And that got me thinking a little bit as to why that card would be so much cheaper. And it was also 512 gigabytes. Um, in fact, there were two versions that Angelbird make. So I was doing a little bit of research, uh, you know, the two, uh, the two cards compared. And what I found out was that typically a CF Express card has a write speed of around about 1300 megabytes per second. And um, the cheaper card has a write speed of 800 megabytes per second. So I thought, okay, well, that's, that's quite a big difference in write speed. So I wonder how that translates into cameras. And what I found out is that, at least at the time of me making this video, there is only one camera in the world that can take advantage of the, uh, the faster speeds. And that is a Red Raptor, which is a cinema, like a Hollywood type cinema camera, which is you know far beyond anything that most of us are gonna be using. So for most cameras or for all other cameras, the, uh, the camera can't even keep up with the slower card. So there's really no point in spending the extra money to get the faster cards when your, car, your, your camera is never going to be able to use that speed anyway. So the card that I ended up going for was the $129 one, and it's a specific one from uh, from, Le from Angelbird, beg your pardon, um, and it is, uh, it's this one here, it is the uh, AV Pro SE. So I'm gonna put a link in the description because they make two versions of this, and one is uh, nearly triple the price, so you wanna make sure that you get the right one. And so I wanted to make this video because I've been using uh, this card now for approximately three months, and it's been absolutely solid. I've got nothing bad to say about these ones. Um, in fact, CF Express is just a, a much better type of, of, of memory, uh, memory cards in general because they're not much bigger than an SD card, but they're a lot more durable because the whole thing is encased in plastic, so the terminals, the terminals are not exposed. And also, you can't really bend it and snap it like you can an SD card. So I uh, highly, highly recommend these. And uh, so I wanted to make this video because I didn't want you guys to go and waste your money on the more expensive cards when your camera is not going to be able to use that speed. Anyway, I hope that this information was useful. Um, if it was and uh, you'd like to support me, please don't forget to click the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do. Uh, I make videos like this uh, about photography all the time. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.